uh, just a quick video to demonstrate how to set up RTP MIDI in Windows so that you can control your iPad uh, with Ableton and control Ableton with your iPad. So first thing is don't start Ableton, not until you have all your MIDI connections set up. So first thing is to start up RTP MIDI. And here you will see I have got a blank page, no sessions, nothing in the directory. So to start off I'm going to press the plus button on sessions and I've got a session here, it's called Lex, that's the name of my computer. I can change the name here if I want, um, I'm going to leave it as it is and click the checkbox beside it and that enables the session, you can confirm it's enabled over here. Um, to connect the iPad, you won't be able to see the iPad until you start an app that has got network MIDI. So I'm going to use Thumb Jam. And as soon as Thumb Jam starts up, you'll see a new item in the directory. That's the name of my iPad, Ceratop. So over in Thumb Jam, I'm going to go to Preferences and MIDI Control. And just make sure in MIDI output connections and MIDI input connections, I've enabled note output and note input. Okay, done. And so over here in the directory, I know you can't see that very well because of the colors, but Ceratop here, I'm just going to click connect. And now that is over here in the participants box. Uh, you'll see the latency is zero milliseconds. That will change in a minute. Um, usually to something quite high. 48, it's not too bad. Uh, well, it's pretty bad, but it could be better if I was using um, an ad hoc network from my Windows computer, but today I'm just using my home Wi-Fi network and everything's connected to that, so it's a bit slow. Um, I'm going to start Ableton now. Uh, where is it? There it is. And once that's started up, go to the preferences. In the meantime, thumb jam, I'm going to turn down the volume Okay, so you can't hear Thumb Jam. Now, Ableton's just starting up here. Might take a minute. Scanning VSTs. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on, come on. I think I've got too many packs installed. Too many VSTs. Okay, here we go. Right, within Ableton, I'm going to go to Preferences uh, and on the MIDI link, MIDI tab, you'll see the RTP session I've set up, Lex. I'm going to put Track On for Input and Output. Okay, and on this MIDI track here, if I just add an instrument, I'm going to put an analog in there. And arm the track. Okay, I've got MIDI coming from. I'm going to go from Lex, which is the iPad. And let me just set my outputs properly so you can hear it. Okay. Now, when I play the iPad, let me just put it up here. When I play the iPad, you'll hear analog. Okay, next, to control the iPad with Ableton, I'm going to start a new MIDI track, uh, disarm the old one, okay, and for the MIDI output, I'm going to say Lex, I'm not sure what channel I've got Thumb Jam on, I'm going to gamble with channel 1, arm the track, and turn up the volume on my iPad, okay. And if I go into a clip here in Ableton, that's thumb jam you can hear. Okay, so good luck with that. Hope it all works for you. Cheers.